Hello everybody and welcome back to the Entertainment Brick Show. Today we are talking everything D23. Why well, I shouldn't say everything because it's only going to be the stuff that I'm interested in. I know that there was like a Pixar panel as well as a Disney panel which revealed some cool stuff for Pixar and Disney fans but I'm not going to be covering that in this video. I'm just going to be covering the video games, um, the Marvel stuff, and the Star Wars stuff and just kind of give my thoughts on it probably relating it to Lego somehow, knowing me, and yeah, just giving my thoughts on everything. So we'll start with the games here. Um, the game showcase wasn't anything crazy, there wasn't anything too um, amazing revealed here, but there was uh, one of these first things here is Skydance New Media's new like video game it is a Captain America and Black Panther story game during World War II. That sounds pretty cool. I'm curious how it's gonna like play, like what the deal is, what is the what is the narrative of the actual video game? Again, it's set during World War II, uh, and this isn't T. This isn't T'Challa, Black Panther. This is Azuri, I believe, who is T'Challa's uh, grandfather. So that's pretty cool. And then we also have a young Steve Rogers, and then there's two other characters: Gabriel Jones and N Nanali, I believe. Is that how you say that? And Nanali is a Wakandan spy network member, I guess, or leader, rather. And Gabriel Jones is a U.S. soldier uh, and member of the Halloween Commandos. So that's pretty interesting. Overall, very interesting kind of game. Um, very unique kind of game as well. Black Panther and Captain America, very cool idea. Then there's also some Midnight Suns news, which is a Marvel game that has been uh, announced previously, but now you have just more news on it. There was a few other games... Um, it was like, uh, yeah, Tron. There was a Tron game, which was kind of cool. Uh, Mickey Mouse game. few new, like, Marvel games. Marvel, like, Marvel Snap. Collectible card game. Okay, yeah. I'm just kind of looking through the list here just to, see, just to see what's been revealed. But the biggest thing I think that I'm, you know, most interested in here is the Skywalker Saga actually has gotten more content. We're going to get more DLC, which is super exciting to me. I really, um, I think that's a good idea to continue the game, to keep keep up with the game, but considering, you know, the, the DLC that we did get was, was somewhat short-lived. It only lasted till I think, May the 4th, and there were only character packs. But then then again, that's the same thing here. It's only going to be character packs, it's six extra ones. Um, so no new levels, which I think is a little bit disappointing. I feel like maybe a level pack would have been, you know, really good to, to have in this game, but I guess, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, six character packs. There's going to be an Obi-Wan Kenobi character pack, Andor, Book of Boba, uh, Clone Wars, Rebels, and Summer Vacation pack. Um, so all, you know, all six character packs. I don't know how many characters are included, and I don't know what characters are included, but we did get a good look at Captain Rex, Reva, and Andor already. So that's pretty exciting. I'm very, I'm actually pretty excited to get these packs. Um, I, I believe it said they're releasing on November 1st, so that's also very exciting. It's, you know, not too far away to get these packs. Um, and, yeah, I mean, again, this was a good idea to include a second collection of characters, but I also think a level pack would have been so much better for this, um, for this game to kind of, like, live on, like, maybe some extra content besides just extra characters in, you know, open worlds that we've already played through and levels that we already played through, but... Nevertheless, it is still cool to get these characters in these packs, so I'm not complaining. Uh, I'll definitely keep up to date with all the information that surrounds this this character collection pack. You know, when when they actually announce the full roster of characters, I'll maybe probably make a video on that. Um, and I don't know if I'll live stream the new characters. I might, you know, just play it on my own. Um, but yeah, I, I am I am excited. I'll definitely check this out, check out all the new characters. But it's nothing too crazy. But other than that, I, I think that this might be the end of the Skywalker Saga. I think they're probably going to cut it off there. Because, I mean, like, what else could they do? They have Clone Wars. They got Rebels. They got the old, older, rather, um, stuff that they need. And then they also have stuff from the new shows. So I'm, I think that this is, this is probably it. Then they're going to start working on their next game. And speaking of that, there was no reveal or anything like that. No news on the LEGO Disney game that is, you know, that rumor that is being thrown around about a LEGO Disney game. There's been nothing on that at D to 3, or D23, whatever it's called. Um, so, just wanted to put that out there. I mean, I, I there's so many other places where that, that game could appear, so I'm not too worried about it. And we don't even know if the game is official, either. It's just a rumor. So, um, I'm, you know, I'm very confident that LEGO is working on their next, you know, big title LEGO game. 
But uh, for now, we do have some of these extra character packs to hold us over for a little bit. So that is also very exciting. Now I will want to move on to let's go with the Star Wars stuff. Let's do the Star Wars stuff next. Now it is time to talk about the Star Wars stuff. And there was some pretty cool stuff here. Not a lot of stuff, which is fine. But there was some cool things. Starting off Mando Season 3 trailer, I cannot wait. Mando Season 3 looks incredible. So many Mandalorians in the trailer. So many Mandalorians are going to be in the show. It's going to be all Mandalorian, or Mandalore action, all Mandalorian action. Like, oh my god. It, it is so exciting. I, I mean, I, you know, this is obviously the, the original Disney Plus Star Wars show, Disney Plus show in general. Um, so this is so exciting to see it return for a, se a third season. I think, again, this is going to be, this could, might be the like best season just because all the Mandalore stuff, all the Mandalorians in general. Um, again, the trailer looked incredible. All the Mandalorians look incredible. Um, Bo-Katan's back. We saw, we saw Grief Karga looking like dripped out and it was nuts. And it looks like there's going to be space fights and stuff. Like, oh man, there's so much good stuff that came from this trailer. And on top of that, I cannot wait for the Lego sets because I know the Lego sets have also been rumored and there's going to be a $35 and a $100 set and I can't wait for them. If, if, you know, if this is what the trailer, only the trailer shows us, I can't wait for what the show is actually going to be. You know, those, those eight episodes I think are going to be incredible. And again, cannot wait for the Lego sets. I think the Lego sets are going to be incredible as well. Uh, even though we're only getting two, I still think that they're going to be amazing because the season looks amazing. Open for a lot of uh, Mandalorian figures. Um, in the in both those sets, but yeah, this trailer looks amazing. Absolutely cannot wait for Mando season three. It's going to be incredible. I already know it. I I'm so excited. I'm so pumped. I think that's like February 2023. Next, we got another trailer for Andor, and Andor's coming up pretty quick, so I'm very excited for that. I mean, I mean, not too much to say really, just because you know, just a new trailer, new trailer showing off some more footage from the from the 12 episodes of season one. Um, but I'm very excited for this show. Really, really cannot wait for this show. I'll definitely try and cover it as, the best I can with the time that I do have. Um, it's very limited, so I'll try and cover the show as the best I can. But um, yeah, very excited for Andor. Next, we got Bad Batch information. Nothing too crazy, no trailer, nothing like that. But it is going to release on January 4th, 2023, instead of, I think it was September 28th. Um, it clearly got pushed back because of Andor, which is completely fine. I'm not complaining at all here. Um, but it's going to be a two-episode premiere. And again, January 4th, 2023, very exciting news there. I'm very excited. And uh, it also contain, contains 16 episodes as well. Then we also have Tales of the Jedi, which is, of course, the animated kind of basically Clone Wars season. What would this be? Season, if Bad Batch season one was Clone Wars season eight, then Clone Wars season nine would be Bad Batch season two. So Clone Wars season nine point like one, basically, because there's only six episodes here. Um, so it's, it says six shorts, but if I'm not mistaken... Each episode is like 20 minutes, I thought. I could be wrong about that, so don't quote me on that, but I thought they were, I thought they were like 20 minutes each, but it looks like they're all going to come out at once on October 26th. I will definitely cover this. Um, I do want to talk about these. It's going to be three episodes about Ahsoka and three episodes about Count Dooku or, you know, when he was a Jedi. So I'm very, very excited to see this uh, show. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and, and I hopefully there's like a season two following more Jedi. That would be lovely. But yeah. Very excited for Tales of the Jedi. I think it'll be really cool. Then we also got a little bit, very small amount from Ahsoka, the new Ahsoka show. With like, I think it was like a, a, a picture or something of, of um, some of the, like a scene in the show or something. I don't know exactly what it was, but that's pretty cool. As well as some uh, information on Skeleton Crew with like a, like a very low quality image of Jude Law's character and Skeleton Crew like near a ship or something like that. So that was kind of cool. Um, I don't think there's any release date or nothing like that yet, but it's set in the High Republic, it says, and yeah, looks like that's really about all the information we got out of, um, out of D23 for Skeleton Crew, but whatever, it's fine. Um, seems like it'll be an interesting show, I'm not, you know, not super excited for it, because I don't really know what it's going to be about, but, um, I, you know, yeah, I bet it'll be cool. And then I also just want to throw in here, um, Indiana Jones 5, there was some, like, apparently there was a trailer or a clip or something like that that was shown, and it looks like Sala is going to return from Indiana Jones, which is super exciting. And now, knowing that people are extremely excited for Indiana Jones 5, it seems, I cannot wait for the Lego sets. Oh, man, they're going to be so good. Um, but yeah, so that that's kind of all, like, the Star Wars slash Indiana Jones stuff. All sounds incredible. 
Uh, I would love to get Lego sets for all of these projects because I think they would all be great. I mean, I know we already got Andor sets and are going to get Mando sets, but, you know, whatever I can get from Lego, I'll take from for Star Wars and stuff like that. So very exciting stuff here. Now we'll talk about Marvel. This is the final kind of like stuff that I wanted to talk about here. Um, we're going to get right into it because there is actually a few things that are that are on this list here. So first off, they did a little Black Panther Wakanda Forever panel. And uh, apparently there was like maybe uh, exclusive footage, I think it was shown to the crowd, which I don't know why they didn't just show it to the public, considering this movie's coming out sooner rather than later. Um, I think it's like November 11th, I believe it is. So, uh, but I heard, you know, very excited for this movie. I think this movie's going to be incredible. Um, very serious movie, which is exciting. There was also some Iron Ironheart footage shown for that show, um, which I, you know, I heard it sounds like it's going to be a cool show. I'm not personally too excited for it. Um, I mean, the hood sounds pretty cool. I think he's going to be the villain of the show. So that sounds cool, but I'm not too excited yet. I mean, I'll have to see like a trailer or something before I really get going. Um, but yeah, that, that, that apparently was shown. Ant-Man and the Wasp as well. I don't know if there was any footage shown. No, I don't think there was any footage shown. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think there was. Um, but apparently it's going to be connected directly to Kang Dynasty and stuff like that. But it's going to be all about, you know, like Kang and Ant-Man and stuff. So I, I don't know. It looks really cool. It looks, it, it sounds like it's going to be really cool. Um, but yeah, this will be, you know, a good movie, good way to start phase five, I would think. Then this one was really cool. Werewolf by Night. Now, obviously I didn't know that this project was, was being made. Um, but we finally have an official trailer for it and it looks pretty cool. I, I think it looks cool. It looks like, you know, it, it's like, um, like, a, like a classic, like a forties kind of movie, you know, with the black and white and just kind of like the whole style of, of, um, the trailer's presentation and stuff like that. But I think it looks pretty freaky. It looks pretty scary, to be honest with you. I'm like, oh man, there's like this is this is definitely a different tone for Marvel, and uh, as well as showing off Man Thing for that quick second. I think Man Thing looks great. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to watch this. I don't know how long it is. I can't tell if it's going to be like a half hour, or if it's going to be like a full blown movie, um, because it just says like a Marvel special. But it's going to be on October 7th, so it's actually fairly close, to be honest with you. Um, and I'm pretty excited for it. I think it's going to be really cool. I'm actually, yeah, like this is what I'm really excited for. Then another thing I'm extremely excited for, Secret Invasion. I think the trailer, like the trailer blew me away. I think it looks incredible. Uh, I like how serious it is, how really like, like, um, it reminded me of Mission Impossible. I don't know why it did, but it reminded me of like the latest Mission Impossible movie and, um, just kind of gave me that vibe. I don't know, but I'm very excited for this show. I think this show will be a lot of fun. Um, very serious show. Like I know it's not going to be. I'm not expecting you know Thor: Love and Thunder. You know, joke after joke after joke. I'm thinking like very serious kind of like real situations going on. Well, not real situations, but very intense situations, I should say. So Secret Invasion looks great. Cannot wait for that show. Uh, apparently Loki. There was like maybe a little bit of. Was there a snippet that was shown? I forget. Uh, I'm trying to read the thing here. I don't think so. But um, this I'm very excited for. Can't wait for Loki season two. Probably going to be some more Kang stuff, which is exciting. So that'll be cool. Then Fantastic Four got, um, let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, just a director confirmed. No cast list, which I think was kind of disappointing. I would have liked a cast list. Then some more stuff on Echo with a first trailer, which was kind of cool. That's pretty cool. Um, we didn't, public didn't get to see it, though. I'm very excited to see this show because I like the whole Daredevil slash, you know, street level kind of corner of the MCU. I'm very excited to kind of explore that a little bit more. So I know a lot of people maybe not be excited for this show completely, but I'm very excited. I think it's going to be pretty cool to see, you know, most likely Daredevil. He's definitely going to be in the show, uh, as well as Kingpin back and Echo herself. I think it'll be incredible. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited for this show. Then we have Daredevil Born Again. This is the my most anticipated Marvel, Marvel project to date so far. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to, like, forget it about it a little bit because I know it's going to be years from now until it releases. I think it's, like, 2024. So, um, yeah, long ways away, but still cannot wait for it. But there was, I, I don't think there was a trailer. No, there was no trailer shown because they hadn't started filming yet. That's right. Um, but apparently there was a, a little clip of She-Hulk with Daredevil in it. Very excited for that Daredevil episode. Cannot wait for, for that episode. I haven't really been liking She-Hulk, though, to be honest with you. That's a whole other conversation. Anyways, um, but yeah, Charlie Cox went on stage as well as Vincent D'Offrino went on stage talking about the show a little bit. And uh, Charlie Cox said it was his return was like emotional, so that's pretty exciting. I just hope it's gonna have the same tone as the Netflix show, 
and that it kind of sort of keeps up with the with the storyline that 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 the Netflix show is following. I'm kind of hoping they don't like completely redo it because I feel like they, there's more that they could have done. You know, I don't know. I, I'm very excited regardless, though. Then Captain America: New World Order. The villain's going to be the leader, and then some of the other characters from Falcon and the Winter Soldier are going to be also in the movie, which is pretty cool. That sounds exciting. Um, but yeah, otherwise nothing too crazy there. And then Thunderbolts, which of course is basically Marvel's Suicide Squad, kind of. Um, and they did reveal like the the team basically. So they revealed that Red Guardian was going to be a part of it. Um, Val, which of course is um, from uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and a few other. Well, they showed at the end of Black Widow and a few other projects. I think was she in Hawkeye? I don't remember. Um, Yelena, Ghost from Ant Man and the Wasp. U.S. Agent, of course, from Falcon and Winter Soldier. Taskmaster from Black Widow and Winter Soldier. So, you know, not the coolest team, I think, in my opinion. I would have liked to see more people, like Baron Zemo, for example. Um, but I bet he's going to be in the movie. I don't see why they wouldn't include him. But otherwise, yeah, nothing too crazy, in my opinion, for that team. It's just going to be Black Widow 2, basically, with Yelena instead of Scarlett Johansson. So, whatever. Um, and then they also did a little bit of the Marvels, I think. Where they're showing... Oh, they did show a trailer. Okay. And they showed like a new suit for um, Monica Rambo, apparently. So that sounds cool. Uh, I'm not too excited for this movie, personally. I mean, we'll, you know, we'll see how it goes. I, think, I bet it'll be fun. But I'm not too, like, crazy about it. But anyways, that is all the Marvel stuff. Um, kind of a little bit underwhelming, I think. I feel like I feel like if they... My personal opinion, I would have wished if they revealed castless for all of Phase 5 projects. I think that would have been pretty cool. Like, minus the super special characters. Like, minus, like, if they had, like, an extra cameo or something from a character. Don't obviously include that. But, like, the main groups, like, confirm... Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of confirms that, like... I, I was going to say, like, Vincent D'Offrino and Echo. Like, but that's already kind of confirmed. So, at least for Fantastic Four, I wish they got, like, a Fantastic Four team cast list. Same thing with Loki Season 2. But they kind of did... I guess they kind of did some cast members... But whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, it was it was fine. I'm excited for Secret Invasion. I'm excited for Werewolf by Night. I'm excited for the projects that are coming up sooner. Um, and, you know, we'll have to see about the Phase 5 projects. I think some of them will be cool. Some of them not so much. But anyways, there you all have it. That's all the Marvel stuff. There is my recap slash thoughts on all the D23 Expo news and announcements and reveals and stuff like that for the upcoming years of Disney. Again, there's some really cool, exciting stuff coming up. I think the Star Wars stuff is very exciting. Can't wait for all of those shows, uh, as well as the Marvel stuff. You know, there's some really great stuff coming up that I think will be really cool. And I do, you know, there was some of the cast that was shown and, you know, uh, the Thunderbolts team and stuff like that. So very cool stuff from Marvel as well. And some really cool shows coming up as well. Um, and then the games, I mean, there wasn't too, anything too crazy for me with the games. Um, we did get more Skywalker Saga content, which is cool. Otherwise, there's nothing that I'm too crazy about when it comes to the game showcase. But either way, it was it was a fun day yesterday, kind of like watching all the reveals happen. But there you go. That is my recap against recap slash thoughts of D D23 Expo. If you enjoyed that video, do the comment, YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.